Hello and welcome everyone to IT Pro Guide. Mohammed Niaz with you. Today we're gonna start our new topic Azure Blob Storage. So here in the first video, I'm gonna give you an introduction to Azure Storage. Then we're gonna talk about Blob Storage and what are the Blob Storage resources and a quick demo on how to create a Blob Storage. Then finally, we're gonna discuss about the methods to move data to Blob Storage. In the coming videos, we will see how to execute the migration, how to configure securities and all. Let us start from the available type of Azure storage services. Azure Blob is our topic today. We will talk about it here. Now let us talk in brief about the other storage services. Azure File, which is a managed file share for cloud and on-premises deployments. Let us say which can replace or which can be a supplement for our on-premises file servers. So you can use this for lift and shift of your applications and files applications which use file server for processing or for storing their files. Azure file share can be synchronized also with uh, on-premises or other Windows servers using Azure file sync. Next is about Azure queue storage which is used to store a large number of messages that can be uh, published or accessed by uh, HTTP or HTTPS. So a couple of common uses are creating backlog of uh, work for a process uh, or uh, passing messages between two separate applications. The next is about Azure Table Storage. This is suitable for massive amount of unstructured data, which means a NoSQL uh, database, let's say. So the table storage is optimized for simple retrieval and fast inserts. The attraction of Azure table storage is uh, which is cheap compared to a SQL database. Now come to our topic Azure blob storage. Blob which stands for binary large objects which are commonly images and multimedia files. These are known as unstructured data because they don't follow any particular data model. Now, unlike Azure Queue or Table Storage, Azure Blob Storage is more focused on common storage purposes. A good example or a use case of a Blob Storage for an organization is to keeping backup for previous version of a site or its content image which would need to be accessible from different location. So by using Azure Blob Storage, an organization can make this easier and quicker to access uh, compared uh, to it being kept on a single location server. The speed, scalability, ease of access and security provided by Azure Storage services make uh, such cloud storage very adaptable for all mid-sized and large organizations. Now let us see the relationship between blob storage resources. Blob storage have three types of resources, storage account, container and a blob in container. So you, when you look at the diagram, you can see it start from the account that is storage accounts, which provide a unique namespace in Azure for your data. So every object, for example, a file or a movie uh, file or a photo, whatever you store in Azure storage, has an address that includes your unique account name. So the combination of the account name and the Azure storage blob endpoint forms the base address for the object in your storage account. Then come to container. Container which is just like a directory in a file system just to organize a set of blobs. For example, you have a uh, hundred picture, then you create a folder named picture, then you keep all the pictures in that folder. So a container is similar like a folder in a file system. So a storage can include an unlimited number of container and a container can store an unlimited number of blobs. Now the final part of the diagram that is blobs. Blobs are nothing just the objects that you stored in Azure blob storage. It can be a movie file, it can be a picture or a virtual hard disk. Whatever the object that you stored in Azure storage, blob storage are called as blobs. Azure storage support three type of blobs. One is block blobs append blobs and page blobs. Before we go in detail to these blobs, let's have a look at how to create a, a storage account, how to create a container and how to create a blobs. Then we will come back to these three type of blobs. When you browse azure.microsoft.com, you will see 
lot of products available under products. You can search for blob storage that gives you blob storage here. Then from the blob storage, you can see there is a free option is there, which means Microsoft offer a one month free $200 credit for you to practice or learn or to do any kind of POC with Microsoft Azure. To enroll that, click on start free. Then again, you click start free. This will give you an Azure account with a $200 free credit valid for one month. Using this, other than this blob storage, you can practice many other things. You can do POC for other products also. Once you sign up with your free trial account, then log into portal.azure.com. Now I have logged into portal.azure.com. You can see I have some resources here already and we are here to create Azure Blob Storage. For that, you can go to the portal menu. Then from here, when you click on all services, you will see a lot of services listed in the left side. And at the same time, you can see some of the featured services here. We are here to create a blob storage. So let's find out what is the storage here. So for that, search for storage. Then you can create storage account here. Click on the storage account. Here you can create a new storage account. Create a new resource group. Then click OK. Then storage account name. This is a unique name that you're going to give for your storage account is a combination of your storage account name. So any object in the blob storage that you're going to access is, is using a link that is a combination of the storage account name. Then you can choose location where you want to host this. Then the other things we will discuss it in detail in the coming videos. I'm just going to create it. Now the validation has completed. Let's go and create it. It may take one to five minutes to complete the deployment. Now the deployment has completed. Let's go to the resources. So now the storage account has uh, created and you can see the name here. Let's go to the containers. Now I can create a container. When you look at the diagram that I showed to you, you remember that after we give the storage account name, then the relationship comes to container. So I'm going to put pictures here. Then I can choose the access level. This is all we will discuss in detail. You can see I got an error here because only lowercase letters are accepted. Then I have different access level I can set up here. Just keep private. We will discuss in detail about this. Now the container is ready. Now I can upload anything here and that is what called as blob here. Now let's go back to the slides and discuss about the different types of blobs offered by Azure Storage. So Azure Storage has three types of blobs, namely block blob, page blob and append blob. So block blobs are made up of blocks and each block is identified by a block ID. This is usually used for uh, streaming uh, sequential data like videos as an example. Page blobs which are the collection of pages that are optimized for read and write operations, random read and write operations. So this usually used for non-sequential uh, read and write. Virtual hard disk of uh, virtual machines are mostly stored in page blobs. Then append blobs. Append blobs are similar to block blobs but are optimized for append operations usually used for activities like uh, logging. I think we need to go in detail about this as this is an introduction of uh, Azure blob storage. We will uh, come to this topic in detail in the coming videos. The final part of this session that is uh, how to move your data to blob storage. I'm not going to show you how to move that will come up uh, in the coming videos. But just we will see what are the options to uh, or solutions to move a data to blob storage. 
Azure copy that is az copy is a is an easy command uh, line tool for Windows and Linux that copies data to and from the blob storage across the containers or across the storage accounts. Then there is Azure Storage Data Movement Library, which is a .NET library that is for developers for moving data between Azure Storage Services. Then there is Azure Data Factory, which supports copying data to and from the blob storage using a, a, an account key or a shared access signature or managed identities for Azure resources. Then there is BlobFuse, which is a virtual file system driver for Azure Blob Storage. You can use BlobFuse uh, to access your existing block blob data into in your storage account through the Linux file system. Then Azure Data Box, which is a service available, for example, to transfer on-premises data to blob storage when there is a large data set and the network is not that good enough uh, to move your data, to push your data into Azure. Then you can request Azure Data Box disk or Azure Data Box uh, device from Microsoft, you can then copy your data to those devices and ship them back to Microsoft to upload into blob storage. Then Azure import or export service provides a way to import or export large amount of data to and from your storage account using hard drives that you provide. So these are the options today to move your data to blob storage or to take out your data from blob to your on premises. We will see more things in the coming videos. Thank you for watching this video. For more videos, subscribe my YouTube channel.